Greetings fellow mod lovers, we have some outstanding creations for you to check out this month including two awesome sets of power armor, working showers and sinks, as well as an HD rework of many of the game's textures. But to kick us off, let's take a look at Tina's Cookie Apocalypse now. I'm gonna go have a tea party. Good luck. Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world. Bringing some of the madness of Borderlands to the Fallout universe, Tina's Cookie Apocalypse packages over 30 of DD Productions mods together and wraps them up in a neat little quest line with some fun and high quality voice acting. I don't trust her. You might want to move. Hostile sensor reading. Find a rocket launcher and blow it back to hell. Blood's exploding from and beaking grenades. That sounds like a mistake. I'm a big fan of Power Armor, as you've probably noticed if you've watched this series in the past, so I am super excited to bring you two sets this month. The first is a Bioshock-inspired, submersible power armor. Kicking ass as Big Daddy is freaking awesome, and it's freaking scary too. The second set lets you become a Space Marine. You can pick your armor to match your chosen chapter, plus it looks amazing. The mod includes two customizable bolt guns from the 40k universe. If you're a lover of the details, Fallout 4 HD rework is probably the most must-have mod for you. It takes many of the lower quality textures in the world and greatly improves them while still attempting to maintain the high performance. The quality and level of detail this mod has gone to is outstanding and I'm hugely impressed by how much more realistic and well, just how dirty everything looks. It, it, it's like a lived in universe. That's why Star Wars was believable, they said, is because it was lived in universe versus pristine and clean. So the dirt looks amazing. Just trust me, download it. Now, seeing as your world is looking so much grimier, you probably want to find yourself needing a little bit of a wash. Well, thankfully now that's possible. CWSS Redux adds 38 different craftable bathroom utilities to the game that you and NPCs can use to scrub up or relax in. Welcome to Good Neighbor expands and adds a huge amount of new content to Good Neighbor. It's a standalone mod that adds two story quests, three assassination missions, seven new establishments, including a strip club, hello, and two player homes with workshops. There are some parts of the mod that could use some work, the voice acting in particular. Hey, I was looking for my wife, Charlene. Have you seen her? She came here a few days ago. No one has seen her. But that doesn't stop this being a great mod and hopefully a trendsetter for future creations as this is the kind of mod I really like to see. I have the mumps. Now we have a couple of console mods to take a look at that I highly recommend you pick up this month. First is a cabin in the woods. This does require the Fallout Harbor DLC, but provides you with the means to craft your own log cabin that looks pretty awesome. Next are the Deaf UI mods. These might not be the flashiest of mods out there, but they will greatly improve your experience in Fallout 4 by making the UI and in particular, the inventory system much more appealing and easy to use. There are also various preset options available to help you pick the layout you like best. So that about wraps us up for this month, but I think these are some of my favorite mods so far. We've got Bioshock, Space Marine Power Armor that looks amazing, working showers and baths, improved graphics, and expanded good neighbor. And best of all, there are cookies and it's not even you don't have to be a part of the dark side. There are free cookies. Make sure to let us know what your favorite mods of this month have been. And as always, this has been Dash for Cursing. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game. Gonna see some Fallout boobies.